What's up, Floor Boys Gang? Or Floor it Squad? Floor it Gang? I don't know. We'll work on that later. So I just got off work. I just got all dolled up, got cleaned up, because you know, your boy sweaty. What I'm gonna try to accomplish today is that I wanna get the front splitter, or the, I wanna get the front, I wanna get this done today. If you guys haven't watched the last video, I'll put a little card right here at the very top so you guys can know, have more of an understanding of what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go pick up my daughter. We're gonna head to my parents' house where they have all the tools and everything while I'm gonna do the cutting. I've actually decided that I'm gonna go ahead and cut using metal. I know last, I know in the last video I was talking about if I was gonna do metal or ABS and I think I have more hands-on with metal. ABS is a little tricky, it burns and everything depending on what you're using. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey baby. What are you doing? I'm trying to take my bandage out in here. Dude! Alright, we're back. So... Alright, we made it. What I'm actually going to be doing right now is I went ahead and made the template already. I traced, traced it out already. Uh, lines look a little, a little sloppy, but that's just because of the cardboard, but... Once I get it cut out in metal, everything will be straighter. I was thinking about actually trying to make this a little bit bigger. Just because of the way I seen it. But as I was looking at it, I think this size already is perfect enough. So let's go ahead and get these two cut out. And hopefully I can get to the back today as well. Here's the first take on the first cut that I just did. Not everything is 100% perfect, but I got, I got it from cardboard to metal now. Uh, the one thing I do need to do is clean this up a little more straighter right here. Because as you can tell, well you can't really tell from the cardboard, but my initial plan was to kind of have this arch a little more. And then I got to clean this up as well because it was very hard for me to at first to, to kind of when I'm grinding it to kind of turn it as well. But that's always kind of how it happens. So I, I use the sander to kind of clean always to clean all this off and then get all the rust stains off. So as you can tell right here what I have is an inch. I use a ruler because what this initial, what this piece is going to do is when it's standing it's going to be at a 90 degree turn. So this is going to be my actually mounting point to the step lip. So let me go ahead and get that cleaned up and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So the video did cut out on me because my phone got a little too hot working in the garage and doing all this cutting. So I went ahead and just finished cutting it, trimming it like I said I was, and straightening everything out and using the sander to kind of clean up the rough edges. 
is what it came out to. So like I said, I, I cleaned all of this up right here. I took off all the rust that was building up. And I also cleaned up this edging. I shaped it to how I wanted to. I didn't want to do too big of an arch because I still wanted to keep this piece a little big. Mine, like I said, about an inch of this is going to be bent at a 90 degrees to use as my mounting area. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just knock out the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and make the other one real quick. I won't really record this one because like I said, it got hot. I'm helping to get the Cool. Movie star. And this is what it's gonna look like once everything is bent. Like I said, I have the 90 degree bend right here. And what that reason, and what that was for is so when I actually go to put this up against the car. So what I'm gonna do is actually make the holes where the 90 degree bend is at, and then make the hole where it's actually gonna line up with the flare itself. And then all we gotta do is just mock it up. So we did a little test fit again, and we noticed my little cameraman right here, Noah Reyes, pointed something out, which I will show you guys right now. So what we're gonna do right here is go ahead and mount it. And what we noticed right here is that we need to cut this little piece off just in case to avoid anything of tire. We don't want the tire to rub or even pop my brand new tires when I'm turning. And then if you notice right here in this very edge, and how the flare arches. Let's see. I'll give it back. How the flare turns right there, like a small couple degrees. What we're gonna do is actually okay, hold it. Right. Bend it, bend it. What we're we gonna do? Bend it. Yeah, exactly. So what we're gonna do is bend that little corner here. right there. We're gonna bend that right there so it can sit flat against the flare edging. And that's going to actually be our mounting point right there. How about we bend all right here? You want to bend all of that right there? Yeah. And we cut this right here because it's connected to this. Uh-huh. So this is what we were talking about at first, that little edging right there. We're going to cut that just to prevent any rubbing. But other than that, this is what the final piece is looking like. It looks really cool. It came out a lot better than what I expected but we are gonna bend this little corner right here just to give it some mounting space and that way it's a whole lot easier. All right, so we got it bent right here. I don't know if, if it's focusing or not. You can see a tiny little bend. First bend I did was pretty aggressive with a little more than what I needed. But yep. if we line it up right here now, huh? it fits perfect. Now that we got it lined up, you can see right here that it fits perfect right up against the flare. That way I have no issues of it not mounting right. So what I gotta do is make a hole right there where the little bend's at. Get a bolt, get it mounted. I'm gonna make my holes at the bottom right here where the step loop is at. And then that's how it's gonna be mounted. So it'll be about maybe two or three that I'm gonna do on the step loop itself and then the one on the flare just to make sure everything is secured. So. I'm liking how this is actually coming out. This is actually really good, better than what I expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the left side real quick. All right, so both sides are finally done now. So what we're gonna actually go ahead and do is get them pre-drilled. Everything's already aligned. Everything's actually perfect. Love the way it came out. So we're gonna actually get these things pre-drilled and hopefully I can just do a kind of a little small testing before I actually get them painted or if I decide to get them wrapped. So as for right now, as you can see, we got a couple little small holes. We're actually going to go a little bigger. I think we're going to go 3 8 on it. Just so they're actually secured pretty good on the step lips. Alright little man, you got to get going. Thank you for your help today. You've been awesome being my cameraman. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I actually finished the front, which I am really impressed with. So with this, as you can see, I have 
all the bolts ready. I have the top bolt ready for both sides. Everything's pre-drilled. So with these, I'm more than 100% sure I'm going to go ahead and try to paint these myself. If that don't turn out well, then I'm going to go ahead and find somebody that can wrap, wrap them for me. Wrap them like a, a satin black or something. As far as everything, I am... I'm happy the way these turned out. I don't have them on the car yet because I still got to pre-drill everything. I still got to take the time to mock them up on the step lips and on the flare itself. That is the first part of my first step lips that I'm going to be doing. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Anything. Subscribe to us. Hit that little bell. We, we appreciate it. We appreciate the support that we've been getting so far, and we hope there is more to come. But thank you. Stay tuned. There's more. If you stay to the end of the video, well, do I got a surprise for you. So I went ahead, had time, and I installed oh. them. Bam. And this is it. This is the final product right here. So, like I said before, it was going to be a 90 degree bend to get those. It was actually a little less than a 90 degree bend. It was a little, so I had to bend that out a little bit. So, I went ahead, three bolts, holding it down to the step lips. These aren't going to be like the final bolts I'm using. These are just temporary stuff. The bend worked out perfectly against this to mount against the flat edge right here. This looks really good. I've always wanted to do this for the longest. I've been holding off on it and I am so glad I pulled the trigger. So let's go ahead and look at the other side real quick. Like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint them black myself just for the temporary time. But if I can get these wrapped in like a satin black, I'll be happy with that as well. All I would, I would, of course, I would need the front and the back just, just in case. And if somebody can wrap these for me, I do have a little secret surprise that I would like to add to it. You'll just have to see if I ever decide to actually wrap it or not. But this is it. I didn't have time to do the back yet. So I'm hoping maybe sometime this week or in this weekend I can get that done. But I'm happy. Final product. It looks amazing. I love it. If you love it, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Oof. But till next time, guys.